Hello my friends. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the different parts and sections of Android Studio. So you'll get familiar with this IDE. The first section is the main menu. Inside the main menu, you can make and do several actions like creating new project, saving the project, opening uh, an existing project, managing the IDE settings, edit the toolbars and other sections, inspect, analyze the code, build project, clean project, and generating signed APKs, run the project, debug the project, and profile the project. Managing SDK, the device, and the resources. Integrating version control. So we, see, we will see the VCS later on in, in a separate section. If you want to master Android app development in both the Java and Kotlin languages, learn Java from zero and learn Kotlin from scratch. Master data structure and algorithms in C and Java. Join my Udemy bestseller courses to start publishing your own apps. Get the coupons from the description below. And many other actions. These are the main actions that we are going to uh, use later on uh, with our projects. These are the main actions, but you can do many other actions. You can access them by clicking on the file, new, open, uh, open uh, the project, the new project, settings, pro project settings, and so you can see the file properties, the project structure, settings, and bunch of other actions you can do. So I will click on settings. You can access this. Uh, a menu and you can see the editor plugins version control build execution and bunch of other actions you can do okay so these are inside these uh and are inside the project structure we can also uh, see the the edit tab so here we can cut, copy, paste, delete, find, toggle case, join line, duplicates, and other actions. If we go to the view, tools, windows, see these are, the, these are the tool windows. You can see them uh, on, the, on the sides, the Gradle, device manager, device uh, file explorer, and emulator, and other things okay so you can manage these toolbars as i told you okay the appearance you can check for the toolbar the status bar toolbar uh, tool window bars navigation bar that we will see in the next uh, couple of minutes show siblings recent files type info and other actions if we go to navigate we can uh, navigate to other uh, sections or highlighted errors or lines or symbols or the bookmarks the code we can check for the uh, overriding method uh, overriding methods you can implement them implement the methods of interface or uh, inheritance or uh, or other things that we are going to see later on and bunch of other actions refractoring build the project this is the menu that we are going, going to use. Uh, make the project, analyze APK, generate signed APK or signed bundle, and clean the project. Run. We also we are going to uh, to run the project from here. Debug, profile, and others. The tools you can see the SDK manager here, the device manager here, the Kotlin Groovy console. Uh, XML action, task and context, uh, integrating Firebase. You can see we can integrate Firebase, the, the online database, 
the app uh, links assistant and other resource managers and other uh, bunch of useful things the vcs enable version control integration and other integration on github and other resources later on we have a new section about it and a standalone section the window and the help okay these are the main actions in inside uh, android studio can do let's move to uh, another section the navigation bar helps you navigate through your project and open files for editing it provides a more compact view for of the structure visible in the project window the toolbar lets you carry out a wide vary, a range of actions including running your app and launching android tools it contains shortcuts for the main menu actions think about it as the most uh, useful shortcuts from the main menu the tool window bar runs around the outside of the ide window and contains the buttons that allow you to expand or collapse individual tool windows so you can start from here from the project you can click on it you can hide or open the project menu the resource manager the structure the favorites build variants version control to do problems terminal logcat we are going to work uh, with logcat um, uh, in in the next videos and other projects and profile we will see the profile of uh, your app how it behaves app inspection emulator device file explorer device manager gradle the states bar displays the states of your project and the ide itself as well as any warnings or messages searching for specific action at any time you can search across your source code databases actions elements of the user interface and so on by double pressing the shift key or clicking the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of android studio window this can be very useful if for example you are trying to locate a particular ide action that you have forgotten how to trigger so in this video we have to, uh, a very good example and very good tour and overview about the tabs and the different sections of android uh, studio now we are go uh, we are going in the next videos um, to dive into each section and each particular uh, uh, section and uh, we will see more and more details in the next videos